Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just a bit of a news update. Apparently there are reports doing the rounds that antivirus software will soon be moved out of the kernel mode in Windows, which is a change that's part of Microsoft's Windows Resiliency Initiative, which Microsoft introduced after last year's CrowdStrike catastrophe where Windows PCs crashed with a blue screen due to a faulty update. Now, according to reports, Microsoft has mentioned that the changes will require antivirus software and endpoint detection and response apps to run in user mode, like most apps do. And it highlights that running apps with admin permissions opens the door to malware, which could infect a user's computer and basically cause a whole lot of havoc on critical system resources, causing disruptions, data loss, and so on. And this was what caused the CrowdStrike blue screens of death last year, as we did speak quite in depth about on the channel. And in case you're unaware, currently third-party antivirus apps run kernel level, which means they have complete and total access to the most basic functions of the operating system. And basically what this means is that they have quite an advantage then where the antivirus can basically do whatever it needs to protect your system. And as mentioned, kernel level access means that a fault with the security software can completely disable a PC in certain circumstances. And Microsoft has mentioned that, and I'm quoting, this change will help security developers provide a high level of reliability and easier recovery resulting in less impact on Windows devices in the event of unexpected issues. And according to reports, there aren't a lot of actual public details about exactly how these changes will impact the effectiveness of third-party security apps. But according to Microsoft, a preview of the new system will be sent to select partners in July. And obviously, as mentioned, not too much out there, but if I get more information, obviously I'll try and keep you guys updated. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.